Socially engaged arts, that's my passion. Nurturing the creative potential in others is what I love to do and it comes naturally to me. I graduated with an MA in Constructed Textiles and started out as a freelance knitwear designer here in the Lake District. I went to the Natick next to a beautiful part of the River Loon and run my business Lunatic Designs from there. During this time, I had a life-changing opportunity to travel to remote Himalayan refugee settlements in Nepal. Whilst there, I shared my Intarsia hand knitting skills with the amazingly strong Tibetan women who lived and worked in exile there to support their families. They produced and sold hand-woven rugs and wanted to diversify into knitwear for their tourist market. It was the late 80s and chunky hand knits with carpet designs were very popular back then. And as a result of this wonderful time volunteering in the Tibetan schools and with the women in the settlements, I was inspired to completely change my career. They got into knitwear and I got out of it. I realised I wanted to face social inclusion challenges through creativity and innovative art practices. And I now have what I consider to be my dream job, which is working with communities as a participatory artist. I enjoy being with people of all ages and all backgrounds and abilities and I love seeing them grow in confidence through their engagement in the arts. Early on I was very fortunate to be involved in some exciting projects. I travelled to Hong Kong where I was artist in residence in international secondary and primary schools. This was just prior to the historic events of 1997 when the UK handed Hong Kong back to China, which was momentous for the children I was working with to record this moment in time. Then I worked on an amazing project with Asian Women in Action on the V&A Mobile's Tent project. This project absolutely confirms my love of the textile medium as a chronicler and as a storyteller. 25 years later, I have so many life-affirming experiences as I have worked on more than 50 projects, some small, some large, and involving more than a thousand people. Today I approach my community tapestry projects as much as possible without judgement and with as few preconceived notions as possible. This is because at the core of what I do is connection. I create a space for people to collaborate with one another in the moment, in that time and place they inhabit together in that moment. What really interests me the most is how creativity is used as a positive force for individual empowerment, which I observe often. Um, improving community cohesion like support networks and generally for social change. When working with vulnerable community groups, as I often do, it always generates valuable conversations around the impact of many issues like displacement, poverty, isolation, and so many things tied in with social injustice. And you find the most and the most genuine laughter where there's great hardship. My practice is a mix of intention and intuition and ultimately I completely trust the creative process and work with it and with the people I'm working with 
in an organic way. It has been said my tapestries are beacons of colour resilience and hope and they have been recognised by two very inspirational to me tapestry artists, Alice Kettle and Sir Grayson Perry. Both create large social commentary work, Alice on the refugee crisis and Grayson on the class system and all of its idiosyncrasies. In contrast, every summer I have the great pleasure of working in outdoor arts, creating large-scale lanterns and interactive puppets designed to inspire awe and delight in event audiences. These amazing carnival projects are so much fun and are created with interns, college students, local community groups, families and volunteers, or I'm commissioned as an artist maker. Over the years, I've welcomed many cultural exchange volunteers from more than 40 countries and their input on all of the projects they have worked on has been a wonderful and enriching experience for everyone involved. Anyway, I really work to make a tangible difference in the lives of the people who experience my many creative interventions. And when this happens at a community level, for me, that is like a dream fulfilled.